The study P Summit has two separate studies, P Summit 1 and 2. It's a study of eustachinumab mm -hmm. in psoriatic arthritis. Eustachinumab is approved in the United States and in other countries for the treatment of skin psoriasis. And these are large phase three studies in psoriatic arthritis. Mm -hmm. At this meeting, Professor Chris Richland presented updated data from P Summit 2, showing the data in focusing on people who had been on TNF inhibitors previously, showing that you do get some clinical response in terms of the signs and symptoms of psoriatic arthritis, and also good response in skin. Mm -hmm. The important point of this is that as we treat patients with psoriatic arthritis, we like to have additional therapies. We have available some traditional therapies, biologic agents, mostly the TNF inhibitors, so it's good to have additional choices for people. Eustachinumab has been approved for the skin psoriasis and our dermatology colleagues are using it, and this data says that it may be useful for the rheumatologist to consider as they see patients with psoriatic arthritis. So is there any future, you think, for moving this through the regulatory pathway to become an approved indication? Well, I think we would hope so. As a clinician, I would hope so. As a researcher, I think that that's the point of doing the, these sorts of large studies. And I do think that the company will try to move forward to get full approval so that we can more easily get it for our patients with psoriatic arthritis. Is, is P-Summit enough to base an approval application on? Well, it's a regulatory question. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, it was designed so that hopefully it would satisfy the requirements, and I think the sponsor's anticipation is that it should be, or okay. hopefully will be.